So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can add or subtract recurring decimals. Now, your gut feeling might be that the way that I'm going to suggest you do this is to convert it into fractions and then add or subtract the fractions as necessary. And yes, that will work. Um, the fractions that you can get might be quite nasty to deal with, but we will take a look at that as we go through these three examples. But I will also suggest us doing it um, by hand as well, uh, just so you can see that actually you could do it by hand um, without converting to fractions, just using long addition, long subtraction. Um, but I'll, I'll get to there in a moment, okay? So, let's take a look at the first one, 0 0.5252525252, 0 0.5252, etc., plus 0.8525252552, etc., okay? Now, if I was to convert this into fractions, um, then, first of all, for the first one, so let's just run through the process so we can remind ourselves. Uh, for the first one, I would let x be 0 0.52 recurring. I would multiply through by 100 to make sure my recurring parts sync up. Then do equation 2, take away equation 1, and I'll get 99x is equal to 52. And so x would be equal to 52 over 99. So I would currently have 52, sorry, equals 52 over 99 plus, so that's that bit. Now I would need that bit. So get rid of that. Then it would be x is 0 0.852, with the 52 occurring. So I would multiply that through uh, by 10. If I multiply it through by 10, I get 8.52, and they're not going to match up, are they? So I'd have to multiply through by 100. So that would be 85.2, then 52, and then that piece will occur. Okay, that would be good. So if I do equation 2, take away equation 1, I'm going to get 99x on the left-hand side is equal to 85.2. So the 52 bits have gone. 85.2 take away 0 0.8 would be 84.4. So then x would be 84.4 over 99. And then I would want to get rid of the decimal, so I multiply top and bottom by 10. So that's 844 over 990. Now I know I can simplify that. I'm not going to. OK. Uh, just so it makes the next step easier. OK, so I get here. Now... I can multiply that first fraction, top and bottom, by 10 to get a common denominator. So then I've got 520 plus the 844. So that'd be 4, 6, 13. So we'd have 1, 3, 6, 4 over 990. Right, then I need to convert that back into a decimal. So then I would do uh, 1,364 divided by 990. Not really looking forward to this one. Um, well, 990 into 1 goes 0 remainder 1, then 0 remainder 13, then 0 remainder 136. So 990 into 1,364 would go once, and the remainder would be 364 plus the 10, so 374. Pop a zero and bring in decimal. So 990 into 3,740 3, would be 3. And then you'd have 740 plus the three tens, so that's 770. 990 into 7,700 would go 7. 
uh, your leftover would be 700 plus 7 lots of 10, so 770. Aha, uh -huh. and there's how it's going to repeat. And so this is 1.37 recurring. So 1 1.377777777, etc. Now, that was quite an arduous process. Okay? Um, so, is there an easier way? Now, the way that I'm going to describe is actually just writing enough terms out for us to be able to get an idea of what the answer is. It's not, you know, some people won't be very satisfied by this method. Um, all I would do is I'd write out, well, 0 0.525252, let's say, and 0 0.8525252555, okay? So, essentially, I, you, you know, I could go for another couple of terms if you want. Right. What I'm doing is I'm truncating the two uh, values and then adding those two together. And whatever I get should be close to what my final answer should be. Um, you know, the more places you take, obviously, the more accurate it will be. But it, the whole point is to try and see where the... Uh, recurring decimal parts going to be. So what should happen is that the last digit will probably be off, well, could be off by one. Okay, so what should we get? Five plus two, seven. Five plus two, seven. Five plus two, seven. Seven, 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 seven. Eight plus five is 13. So 1.37 recurring. Okay, and you can see actually, oh, that was a lot easier. Okay, um, so we could use that technique um, in order to shortcut this process. I mean, this is great practice to be able to go through that pr process of converting the recurring decimals into fractions and then adding the fractions together and then converting the fraction into decimal form. That's excellent practice, excellent practice. But if I was in an exam scenario, I wouldn't want to have to go through that process if I could do it this way, okay, and get to a reasonable answer. So, let's take a look at the next one. 0.85858585 plus 0.97979797, okay? Now, um, I will quickly uh, do the algebraic way, uh, so you can see it. Um, or rather, I'll just write down what the answer will be, having done the algebraic process. Uh, because 0.85 recurring is 85 over 99. And 0.97 recurring is 97 over 99. Okay. And if you want to go through the algebraic process to get there, to check, of course you can. Then we've got 85 plus 97. The denominators are the same. So that's going to be uh, 182 over 99. We then need to convert that into decimal form. So 182 divided by 99. 99 into 1 goes 0 with remainder 1. 99 into 18 goes 0 with remainder 18. And 99 into 182 goes once with 83 remainder. Now 99 into 830 will go 8. Uh, remainder 38, bring the 0. 99 into 380 will go 3, um, with 83 remainder. Um, bring in a 0. 99 into 83, uh, sorry, 830, go 8, with 38 remainder. And so you can see 
what's going to happen here. So we've got 1.83 recurring. So the 83 is repeating over and over and over again. So let's look at the just doing it as a long addition. So 0.85 recurring is 0.85858585 and let's go one more 85. 0.97 recurring 0.97979797979797. So 5 plus 7 okay is 12. 8 plus 9 plus 1 is 18. 8 plus 5 is 13. 10 plus 8 is 18. 8 plus 5 is 13. 10 plus 8 is 18. 8 plus 5 is 13. 10 plus 8 is 18. 8 plus 5 is 13. 10 plus 8 is 18. So we get the 1.83838383821. Okay, now as I said in the previous example, uh, that last digit is, has the potential of being one out. Okay, but you can see that 1.83 recurring is what we were going to be targeting anyway. Okay, so this shortcuts a lot of time. So with number three, we have 0 0.101, 101, 101, 101, 101, etc. Take away 0 0.0222222222222. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. So let's just dive straight in to looking at the decimal form and seeing if we can figure out the answer from that. So we have 0 0.1011101101. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And we're subtracting 0 0.0. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Right. 1 take away 2, I can't do, so I'm going to have to borrow 1. So that'll have to drop down to 9, that'll have to drop down to 0, and we've gained 1. 11 take away 2 is 9. 9 take away 2 is 7. 0 take away 2, I can't do, so I'm going to have to borrow 1. 10 take away 2 is 8. 0 take away 2 I can't do, so I'm going to have to borrow 1. So that's going to have to go down to 9. That's going to have to go down to 0. And so I've got 10 there. 10 take away 2 is 8. 9 take away 2 is 7. 0 take away 2 I can't do, so I'm going to have to borrow 1. 10 take away 2 is 8. 0 take away 2, I can't do, so I'm going to have to borrow 1. 10 take away 2 is 8. 9 take away 2 is 7. 0 take away 0 is 0. And so, it's looking like we've got 0 0.0788. And it is that piece that is recurring. OK, and so that will be our answer. Of course, you can go through the process of writing it in an algebraic form to double check. So let's do that uh, quickly so that we can see that. So uh, we're going to let x be 0 0.101 recurring. If I multiply through by 1,000, I'm going to get 101.101. .101. Then equation 2, take away equation 1. We're going to get 999x is 101. So x is 101 over 999. Okay. Then... x is 0 0.02 recurring, then um, if I multiply through by 100, then we're going to get 2 
point two two recurring. So then if I do equation two, take away equation one, we'll get 99x is 2.2. So x is 2.2 over 99, or 22 over 990. Now, I don't particularly want to do that one by hand. So 101 over 999, take away 22 over 990 is 394 over 4,995, which the calculator is telling me is 0 0.0788 recurring. Okay, so at the end of the day, really what you need to be thinking about is that yes, we have the algebraic means to go about this uh, by con to convert them into fractions and then convert the fractions back into decimals. But you may be able to tackle it straight off the bat by just writing it out as long decimals and getting an estimated answer from which you can then write down what um, the recurring decimal should be.